Okay. Good morning, everyone. All participants are muted. Welcome to Midday Prayer. Glad to have all of you on uh, Midday Prayer sharing with us today. Today is um, Wednesday, September the 1st, 2021. Uh, this is our special week of Midday Prayer, praying for those um, that have, have, have dealt with um, Hurricane Ida. Um, just so much we need to say today. I'm going to start off with, with good news. I want to start off by saying happy birthday to my grand grandbaby, little Lyra. She made uh, two years old this morning, so happy birthday to you. Let's get busy with um, the information. We want to be in prayer uh, for those who are in the fires in California. We got fires on the West Coast and hurricanes on the East Coast. Uh, um, there are two um, tropical depressions in um, in the Atlantic Ocean as we speak, um, Katie and Larry. So we want to pray. Uh, we're not over. We're not over either yet, and we're dealing with that. So we want to continue to pray. Just some um, basic information I want to give out to those that are on today. First of all, got a call early this morning from my brother-in-law. Uh, text stating that FEMA registration expires today for those uh, going through Hurricane Ida. I went to the FEMA um, red, uh, webpage and, and, and grabbed some information for you. Uh, I down, um, I will, this is not downloaded. I will download this after uh, our call. Um, you can go to disasterassistance.gov um, backslash disasterassistance.gov backslash and you can get the information on FEMA. That's important that you get it today because um, FEMA is open to 10 o'clock tonight. So based on um, the information I received uh, after 10 o'clock tonight, FEMA will no longer offer uh, assistance unless they extend the deadline um, um, from today. Also, um, the FEMA telephone number for those of you that want to call is one 800 621-3362, 1-800-621-3362. And I, I thought it was funny because mo many people, um, lines are down, struggling to get online, struggling to get information. But they say when you when you contact them, uh, um, they, want, they want the address of the place where the disaster has taken place, that's FEMA. They want your social security number, they want you to give you give them a general assessment of your losses. And the reality is like ourself, like myself, the only assessment I have is for some pitches. I really don't know everything unless you're down there. But FEMA wants you to give a general assessment. Um, they want you to take pictures. And matter of fact, yesterday um, we, we contacted the insurance company. And um, the first thing the man asked for pictures and the tenant in the in the building sent me pictures and I sent the pictures right to him. If I didn't have a tenant in the building or if you're still in the hotel um, or wherever you are, you don't have the pictures. But that's what one of the things that FEMA is asking for. And I think the most important thing that I'm going to say this morning um, about FEMA is FEMA is saying keep all your receipts. If you're staying in a hotel, if you're buying gas buying food, keep those receipts because those receipts, um, you can turn them in at the end if you have applied for FEMA aid. Like I said, I got word that it ends today. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just letting y'all know. That's why I gave y'all the FEMA information. For those in New Orleans, I got to call somebody trying to get out of New Orleans. If you know a way out of New Orleans, um, and, and the interstates are now open. Uh, I-10 is open. I-610 um, is open. Uh, uh, um, Interstate 12 is open so you can get on through to Baton Rouge. Um, but I got somebody down there that needs a ride. And if y'all know, know somebody with a ride, get get hold of me so we can get them a ride. They're trying to get from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. Uh, give us a shout out. Also, saw this morning early that there's some things open. I want to just throw this out to y'all. Grocery stores open because some of you need supplies. Remember, um, the um, the uh, what is that? Uh, uh, the curfew begins at eight o'clock tonight, and so the grocery stores that are open, um, Roberts Fresh Market on St. Claude is open, um, uh, on South Claiborne is open, West West Esplanade 
excuse me, and then also Las Palmas Grocery on the West Bank is open. Ross's supermarkets are open. The one in La Palco, General de Gaulle, Bell Chase Highway, West Bank Expressway, Carrollton Avenue, Barone, Franklin Avenue, and Clearview. The one on Harrison, they say that it's open and it's going to close, but the Harrison location will close for five o'clock this afternoon. I don't know what they have in them. This is what was given. This is already on my webpage. I put this down for you. Pharmacies, very important. Those that need, one lady was crying because her husband needed insulin. For pharmacies that are open, Oxygen Medical on Jefferson Highway, believe it or not, is the only pharmacy that's open right now. So if you're in the New Orleans area, you need to make your way to Oxygen. Um, and there's a number for you to call, 504. It's on the webpage, 842-3205. Um, Everybody else, if you can't get to the pharmacy, you might want to go to the hospital and get your prescription and let them fill it at whatever hospital you make it to. Um, Oxygen's Pharmacy is open until 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. So at 7 o'clock, it closes. Hardware stores, those that's trying to get top on your roof, um, you know, trying to get some bags to clean up. Lysol, uh, if you're down there, you need to clean your refrigerator. Veranda called me, was cleaning the refrigerator, trying to avoid maggots in the refrigerator. Um, those those places that are open, Home Depot on Claiborne um, is open. Um, Home Depot on I-10 Service Road is open, and the Home Depot on West Bank is open. In New Orleans, the um, the the Lowe's that's open, the one on Elysian Fields, that's the store I go to when I'm in town. The one on Elysian Fields is open, and the one in, on on um, Veterans is open. So both of the Lowe's in the city of New Orleans is open. And then also on our webpage, we have free meals that's set up down there. Free meals on St. Rock Park from one o'clock to three o'clock. So that's in about an hour. There'll be re free meals. Harmony Oaks from one thirty to 3.30 free meals. St. Maria Garetti Church on Crowder, 1.30 to 3.30. Also, New Philippian Church, Pastor Jermaine, shout out to you. You're doing a great job. Um, former assistant under Bishop Wilson. He's at New Philippian Church. Uh, Reverend Prevost used to be the pastor there on North, on North Claiborne Avenue, 1.30 to 3.30. You can get over there and get a free meal. That's if you're in the Ninth Ward. Um, also, uh, Arthur Mundy Center on Newton Street, 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Rosenwald Center, that's on South Broad. It is now open um, from one, from 3 to 5 with food. And then the last place that we have, oh, Life Transformation Community Church uh, on Mark Street is open from 4 to 6. And then um, Singleton's, Singleton's Mini Mart is giving away food. It's in, uh, they're giving away free Korean poor boys. And that's on Garfield Street, 7446 Garfield Street. All of this is on our webpage. If you go to uh, to, to, to my Facebook um, thing, you can find it. It's right there. Gas stations. That's one of the things that many people that have generators. And one of my Facebook friends, I want to lift her up. Her husband was in the house with the generator. The generator caught on fire. She put that. She um, posted that the house caught on fire. We want to pray for her and her family. But many of you that have generators, you need gas. The gas that, 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 now, now they posted this at eight this morning. That don't mean they have gas now, but I want to let you know. Um, Fuel Express Mart on West Napoleon in Metairie has gas or had gas. Uh, Exxon on Williams Boulevard in Kenner has gas. Chevron on West Napoleon in Metairie has gas. And the only place in Orleans Parish that had, had gas was Chevron on Rampart Street. That's Orleans Parish. That's the only place in Orleans Parish where you could get gas on Rampart Street, 447 Rampart Street. And then um, there's a quick stop on St. Bernard and Moreau. And then uh, also, I don't know how to say this word, Nic Nicosia Express Lane. And that's on Bayou. Um, Bayou Road in St. Bernard Parish. These are all of um, all of our gas stations. Also, for those of you, some people have lights. Praise the Lord. That's some good news. Some people in Orleans Parish now have lights. It's in, in New Orleans East area. What's happening is those that have the underground lighting, um, some of those lights are on. For those of you that are not home, I want y'all to get this. For those of you that are not home, you can go to Energy's webpage. Go to Energy. When you go to Energy, they have a they have a, a place for outings. What you do is you click your address, 
and it'll tell you if your lights are on in your house. So many people want to know, are the lights on in my area? And I was trying to tell somebody to click in it. I need to go home and see. Well, you can go home and see, but you could check before you go home and see uh, if your lights are on. So just go to Energy's webpage and you can see. And what's happening downtown and what's happening um, um, in like the Gentilly area, what's happening in, you know, the Goose area, all of those are power lines are up and those power lines are down. When you kind of basically cross uh, Crowder Boulevard out there and read, there are not a lot of light poles, it's underground stuff. And so they're able to kind of connect that to the power grid. So just pray um, that the lights get on. I'm praying every day um, that the lights get on. I got a report. Um, that it gets real dark. There was also a report that an off-duty policeman uh, was killed on last night on I-10. Uh, it's just, it's just, you know, the looting has began. Um, people breaking. It is what it is. Some people eating. Some people not eating. Some people just trying to steal the steal. It just is what it is. Um, but let's continue to pray. Uh, for those individuals that are down there. Once again, finally, um, we're still picking up supplies. We're trying to get a U-Haul together to get it down there. Probably next week, the roads probably be better. And we're going to bring down some water and clothes, um, diapers, whatever you have, toothpaste, toothbrush, whatever you have, whatever you buy. Um, if you want to send money, you can send it to Restoration Center. Um, you can send it to our Push Pay app or to our Cash app. It makes no difference. And we're going to just get some stuff and we're going to drop it off. I might call Pastor Jermaine and drop it off at his church because he's already doing it. Because we just want to be a blessing. We want to be a blessing and let it be known that we're praying for you. The, the, the thing is, um, this is a, a, a totally different storm. So many people are in the, in the hotels. They tell me that the hotels are about $140 some dollars a day. Uh, it costs. It costs. And so we're praying for you. Those that have gone back, you're back in darkness. Um, some of you have generators. Um, some of you don't. Um, some of you have lost your houses. Some of you haven't. Uh, once again, we're dealing this, with the separation. Um, some of us are with our, our family. Some of us are not. And, and one of the funniest, this is not funny, um, but somebody posted this morning on Facebook. I don't know why, but I did it again. I only packed with two um, changes of clothes. Why did I do it? And then the person responded, well, I learned from the last time. I packed for two weeks and I also packed in case it was long term. I got coats <laughs> and sweat coats. It's it's just one of those situations. So we're praying and, uh, and we pray that God will continue to watch over you. Get on our webpage. Get the information that you can. If you have problems, you can contact us via our web page, via our uh, email, and we'll do it, do what you need to do, if, do, help you any way we can. Also, if you once again, before I close, I got somebody down there that needs to get to Baton Rouge, uh, and I can't get down there. If there's somebody that's available, just let us know so that we can get them out of New Orleans and get them to Baton Rouge. There's no lights, no water. Also, um, the water situation in Jefferson Parish, what I heard this morning is they're looking at 30 days. So those in Jefferson Parish are without water. Uh, Orleans Parish is without lights. And, and one of the things, I asked a question, people don't understand, you got to ask questions. I asked individuals, is the gas working? Well, since Katrina, the majority of people in New Orleans are now all electric. Everything in the house is electric. And generally, when we had storms, you know, the gas kept working. And so now, or, or you were worried about a gas explosion. And so now, so many people, uh, everything, they can't run the microwave, can't run the stove, can't do anything. So it's, it, unless they have a generator, and with generators, you got to have gas. I just told you only one Gas station is open in the city of New Orleans. Everything else, you got to go to Chalmette. You got to go to one of these places. Let's pray for our family. Let's pray for our family. Let's pray for those that are down there. Let's pray for all of those doctors and nurses. Um, Mandeville, Grand Isle, um, um, Homer, Laplace. Um, we're lifting you up that God will continue to watch you and bless you. Let's get into a word of encouragement this morning. Um, I, I, I was looking... Uh, in the Gospel of John this morning, one of the scriptures that I love, uh, I, I just like this verse. It's one of my verses uh, that I like to quote. Uh, and it's Psalm, I'm sorry, John 16 and 33. Um, Jesus is talking about um, um, what we go through in life. He says, these things have I spoken to you, 
that you might have peace. In this world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. And so Jesus says these words, I said this so that you can have peace. He used the word irene, um, the Hebrew word would be shalom. And he says, what I want you to have is tranquility in your mind and soul. And yesterday I talked about when you deal with the storms and you deal with, you know, we got fires, we got two more storms out there, you know, and then, like, like I said, we called the insurance company for somebody, for, for one of our rentals, and then they talking about, do you have pictures? Then the man don't even know they have a stone. It messes with your mind, and you, <laughs> it's like you're struggling for peace. Um, people are like, I can't do this again. It's all over again. And don't forget, in the midst of this, we're still dealing with COVID. Those that are in Houston, be careful. There's another There's another big outbreak uh, in the Houston area um, with COVID. Louisiana, we still um, have the, this COVID situation. And, and what we want is peace in our mind. Just I just, just want to know it's going to be all right. Not, not worried about everything. Don't forget... Uh, we just ended the war in Afghanistan. We still got all that kind of stuff going on. You know, we got the racial stuff going on. It's just so much. Jesus said, I wrote this scripture. This word is here so that you can have peace. Here you go. In the world, the, the, the Greek word, in the cosmos, you shall have tribulations. As long as we're alive. I need y'all to get this. As long as we're in the cosmos, I like to use terra firma, the earth. As long as we're here, we're going to have tribulations. That word tribulation is stipless. It literally means distress, affliction. And that's where we are right now. We're at distress. Um, we, we, we're going through affliction. Um, many of you are down there in it. Many of you are figuring out how you're going to do it. It's the first of the month. I just told you all yesterday, if you have a house note, they still want the house note. The people that, that, that pay the rent, they want their rent. And the reality is how you going to pay rent and you ain't got no house. The light bill is still coming because the light bill you paying last month light bill. And then if you don't pay it, you have to pay double to get it turned back on and still pay the bill. I, I mean, come on, Lord. In the world, as long as we're here, we're going to have tribulations. It is, it, it, it's a part of life, hardships. It's a part of the fall of Adam. When Adam fell, uh, the Bible says his transgression fell on all of us. It is a reality of life. Now, Jesus, how is this going to give me peace? As long as I'm in the world, I have tribulation. He says, be of good cheer. Be comforted. That word means be of good courage. Let me encourage you in the midst of it. Okay, God, give me an encouragement. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. The word overcome, and this is the word for the day. It is nikayo, nikayo in the Greek. It means I have the victory. In the end, I win. Listen to me well. As long as we're here, we're going to go through. But the reality is, in the end, we win. In the midst of all of these difficulties, hardships, I got, I got a call today. Um, uh, somebody's uh, mother-in-law died of COVID on yesterday. I got another call. Um, a 40-year-old is very sick and trying to get a hospital bed in Texas for COVID, there is no hospital bed. The person has to had to go home because they don't have no beds in the hospital while sick, struggling to breathe of COVID. And this is a Caucasian. This ain't a black person. You know, like, you know people say, oh, they always turn away black for you, but this is a white man. And the reality is, you know, Lord, how do we, how do we handle this? How do we handle getting sick and, not, and, and they have stuff available, but yet it's not available. He said, you know what? You have the victory through me. You're going to overcome through me. You're going to overcome. I want to let y'all know we're going to overcome. I want to read one last scripture so that you can understand how we overcome. In 1 Corinthians 15 and 57, we always do verse 58, be that, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. But verse 57 says this, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Listen to me. We have the victory through Jesus Christ. The reality is we're going to win in the end. Watch this. Your house going to get rebuilt. Watch this. 
You're going you're gonna to be all right. Your mortgage going to be paid. Your rent going to be paid. You're going to have food on your table. All that stuff going to work. And then after all that stuff work, when you die, guess what? You're going to heaven. Lord have mercy. In the end, we win. Stop being frustrated. Stop. And, and, and I'm, I'm preaching to myself. I'm the choir today. I'm preaching to, to myself because it's so, I, I feel y'all. And I, and I told Veronica, I told Pastor Lindsay today, this is not my storm. I, I went through Katrina. I'm not there. Those of you that are there that lost stuff, it's different for y'all than from, for me. But I'm still in pain. I'm still hurting. I'm still frustrated. But you need to understand. That with Jesus Christ, we're going to have the victory. So it's going to work out. I don't know how it's going to work out. But I'm just telling y'all, it's going to work out. In this world, you shall have tribulations. But be of good cheer. You have the victory if you have Jesus. So the question is, do you have Jesus? Because if you got Jesus, you got everything that you need. Lord have mercy. Bless you. Lord have mercy. Father, I thank you for the opportunity for sharing with the people of God and giving them the word of God. I just pray now, oh God, that you will just continue to watch over us and bless us in our minds. Give us that peace, that irony, that, that tranquility, that serenity to know that it's going to be all right. Because God, the reality is the more we look at the news, the nervous that we get, the more we look at the images of of the flooding and we look at all of the power lines down, God, it just gives us complete frustration and aggravation. But God, our peace is that if we know you, it's going to work out. And God, we don't know how it's going to work out. We don't know when it's going to work out. God, all we know is you're going to work it out. I pray for us that you work it out on this side of of heaven and eternity. I pray, oh God, that you work our house situation out, those that are flooded, um, those that have lost their housing. I pray that you work that out. Those that have lost loved ones, oh God, give them peace. Those that are in the hospital today, I didn't even look at the numbers, but I know our numbers yesterday, 476 uh, in the hospital, um, struggling on respirators in the state of Louisiana. Just, just watch over us, oh God. Have mercy and be merciful. And God, I thank you for overcoming because I'm a believer, because I'm born again, because I'm in relationship with you. I, God, I already know in the end I win. In the end, I have the victory because of my relationship with you. And God, in the end, we win. Father, I pray your blessings now on the people of God. Speak peace and serenity in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all tomorrow for midday prayer. If you need anything, you can contact the church. Be